Here we have a question about plasticity, which can scare some people, but hopefully not. I'll show you how. So this frame has MP everywhere. If the critical plastic collapse mechanism is as shown, what is the minimum required MP, ignoring any instability effects? So this frame on the left is being pushed to collapse by these two forces, and we've got this sway frame mechanism here. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, I will draw it here. Oops. So we have a pin at four locations, down here, down here, let's draw the deflected shape. I'm going to have a pin here. I'm going to have a pin here. That. Okay. We've got four pins. We need these angles here. So that's there. Let's just call that theta. Well, that's also theta. Um, that is also theta, and then that would also be theta. Because that's also theta, but we we're not. There's no work being done at that joint. It's this one here that we need. That is two theta. Okay, so let me just remove that one just so I don't confuse. So, um, dissipated energy well, I guess it's not dissipated, let's call this one um, strain, plastic strain energy is equal to MP times the sum of all of those rotations, sum of um, rotations, how will I write that? So we've got, this is equal to MP times, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have MP times 6 theta, okay? That is our energy with, within the joints. Now we need the work done. The work done is, well, let's work, let's do this. Um, Twenty kilonewtons, and it's displaced this distance here. Now I've exaggerated this quite heavily because in reality this this is going to be a very um that that theta there is going to be a very small angle because we're, we're talking about the onset of collapse and that is four meters there so we know delta is equal to four meters times theta okay so work done here is twenty kilonewtons so uh well, as long as we stick stick to the same units, we're going to end up with the um, with a unit that will make sense at the end. But let's just convert this into newtons um, here anyway. Times delta is equal to uh, is going to be equal to uh, well. 20 kilojoules times 4 theta, so this one's 80, 80 theta kilojoules, and then we need the one we need the moment, the work done by the top one as well up here. There 
that distance there is 2 meters. This one is 100 kilonewtons. The force is constant, so uh, this one is 100 kilonewtons times this distance here. So that distance is 2 times theta. So this work done here is 200 theta kilojoules. Okay, so let's equate these. So total work done is equal to 20, uh, so 200 theta plus 80 theta and and we equate that to equate this here so 6 m p theta is equal to 280 theta okay so that cancels out with that so m p is equal to 280 divided by 6 is equal to Forty six point six seven kilonewton meters. That's our final answer.